Hello guys, this is Biss Pixel, and today we are going to continue on from part 3 of our Unity tutorial series, and we are going to basically start solidifying our movements and do some quick fixes from our last video. So... As before, I put down get key down, which was a silly mistake. It's supposed to be get key for D and A. <coughs> so that what happens is that it's continuous along the path in terms of like the movement. I'll show you that right now. A D, the smooth just keeps going and going, going, going and going. Now we go back to our code, and so we just change those because we want those to be constantly active instead of being get keyed down once. Um, so one thing that we know is that our character, Pizzle, um, is that he could constantly jump up and he can move in the air. We don't want that to happen at all so what's gonna happen is that we need something to check for the platform itself so we're gonna create a few variables that will help us with that problem Whoa. there's something funky hold on I hate that uh, let's go back to <coughs> let's kind of reopen that up real quick uh, so I reopen this up and so the few variables are public transform ground check so the plan is that we're, we're gonna try to find actually we're trying to yeah we're trying to find um let's say an object that will check for the ground. So we're going to put something under a um, puzzle that would basically be in some type of object that's connected to the player that will check for the ground. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So public transform ground check. We're going to be looking for the object. As you know, transform is rotation, scale, position I'll show you guys that in a minute um, also what we'll do is we want the radius because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a circle that detects our ground check excuse me public float I made a silly mistake um, and then we're gonna look for a public layer mask And we're going to name this what is ground. Because we don't know exactly what the ground is. And we're going to make a private bool called ground. Instead of doing ground check, let's do a platform check. I don't know. Because they're all platforms. Why not? What is platform? <coughs> okay, so we have platform check, platform check radius. What is platform? And the private bool will be platform itself to detect whether the statement's true or false. And the private bool is going to be accessed within the script only. While the other ones are going to be accessed through, it could be accessed anywhere in the scene. So, we need something to detect, we need something to process 
all these variables all together to make the statement true and false. So how are we going to do that? So what we could do <clears throat> is that we can make a void fixed update. Fixed update is preferable for anything dealing with physics. So since we're dealing with physics and in this type of approach, we might as well use the fixed update, which is updated seg segment. Um, how would I say it's updated more, I would say than the regular update. So we could use, we could do platform <clears throat> would equal to the physics 2D and we could create a overlap circle. So this will create a circle basically. And in order for us to detect the point and the radius of it, <coughs> we're going to make um, platform check will be our point for vector two, which I explained to you guys um, earlier about how vector two is X and Y values. And since we're going to access that object, it's going to, and it's 2D, it was going to, we're going to access that object and use X and Y values. <clears throat> and plus the scale, plus the position, plus, plus the rotation. So we're going to use the platform check position. So the position of the platform itself. And we're going to do platform check radius check for the radius and what is platform okay I know originally I named ground for I mean layers ground and the tag ground I'm gonna change that as well um to platform so bear with me. So I'm going to go into the player again. I'm going to access tag. i go here. I'm not going to add tag, but I'm going to change it to platform. I just platform just makes more sense to me. Hope you guys don't mind the change. You guys don't have to change it. It's your choice. This is just me being me. Okay, so we have our platforms. What we want to do now is that we actually want to create the ground, um, the the object that detects the ground that's beneath our player. So we're gonna create empty. So we're basically gonna go to player and you're gonna right click on player. And you're going to create empty. And then you're going to rename this ground platform check. If you guys have ground still, just say ground. So for platform check, we're going to go and try to figure out where it's at. It's right below our character. Right in the middle too. <coughs> okay, so now we have our platform check. And that's the uh, that's the child to the player. If you think about it, assets and has all these subcategories. Think about player and having its own subcategory. Okay, so now we're a player, and what we want to do is that for our platform check will be our platform check object. So we're going to grab this. I want to simply place it. In a platform check box. Now, the platform check radius is going to be 0 0.1. We want it small. 
And what is platform? Platform. Platform is platform. So we got this set up, and we're going to hit back in our script. Okay. So what we want to do is that in a jump and, and move speed um, functions, what we want to do is that we don't want them to jump everywhere. We want to set it so that it only you're only able to move and jump when you're on the platform. So we could say and by the way that's seven. Just shift and hit the seven key and it should give you the, the little ants <coughs> ant symbols. So we want input key I mean input key down key code space and it has to be mm, platform so what is happening now is that when I place this is that what I want to do is that when I hit the space button and if I'm on platform I'm gonna jump up it's gonna be the same way for these Now let's see if it works. Let's save all. Let's press play and see what happens. Look at that. I can't move in the air. I can jump, but I can't jump multiple times. <coughs> it seems like everything is working pretty well. Alright, so now we gotta we have everything all set. And the statement of our platform check is true if I'm touching the platform. Okay, so one thing I'm going to teach you, actually one thing I'm going to do is actually is make our play level. So what's going to happen is that um, I'm going to select the platform and then... I'm going to hold control and D to duplicate them. And then what I'm going to do is hold control. Actually, we're going to access the, the move X and Y move tool. And then we're going to hit control and then we're going to drag. Now what's happening here is that it's leveling out. So it's using its dimensions of the box of our platform. And, and it's moving it by 64 by 64 and snapping towards the other object. So we're going to do the same thing for a few of these. So we have a full-fledged working platform. And bam. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's, that's interesting. Why is it doing that? Okay, let's freeze the... As you can see, we ran into a, a little issue. And that's most likely from... The collisions. <coughs> Which is kind of weird. That is happening. So let's freeze the Z position of our character. So we're going to go to restraints and the rigid body 2D and freeze the Z position. Let's see what happens. Hmm, that's interesting. Now it's moving. That's very weird that it did that. It's doing it again. Huh. Maybe the snap is not too. It's gonna snap again. They're gonna move around. That's weird how that's happening. I could probably fix that later. Mm -hmm. So it's only activate like every. That's weird. Uh, this is one of the Unity favorite bugs you will come across 
and Unity <coughs> sometimes. <coughs> so, so everything is working so far. It's just that it's weird that that's happening. That's never happened to me before. Um, let's increase the move speed as well. I wonder if that would change much of a difference. Ah, it does. Mm. It kind of does, which is weird. All right. All right. So, what is funny is that um, it actually, in Unity 5, it just translates on its own. A character just flips on on its own, so we don't have to worry about in terms of like flipping our character around, which is weird. It's probably because of the input, which I probably would talk later about in the next part of the video. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, peace out, baby. <laughs> I am back. Originally, I said in the last video that I was going to do another video next week. But then I decided, hmm, why not just start dishing some out?